doing gain staging. And gain staging is a pretty simple concept. It's taking two gain stages, in other words, two maybe overdrives or volume, and stacking them on top of each other. This is the way a classic amp structure would be used, say, in the 70s, and even now. This is the way most people do it. Um, this case, I'm, say, running like a distorted amp. I'm emulating that with the pedal. We'll see in a second. And then I'm hitting the front end of that to push it over the top. So in other words, I'm pushing the front end of the amplifier or pushing the front end of the other pedal to get more gain. So I have some reverb and I have some delay on just because it's a nice kind of effect, but the main point is these two. Now, as you may have noticed, I'm using, it's the first time I've got a Tube Screamer in the mix. The reason why is um, I like the OCD and a number of other pedals as working as an amp sound. So what I mean is right now we're running everything through a clean amp. So here's my guitar sound. Oops, sorry, I got the Tube Screamer on. But I like the way the OCD sounds as an amp-like sound. Nice kind of pedal. It takes other pedals well. Um, now, if I use a Tube Screamer as an amp sound, that sounds great, too. Just overall, I like to use this as an amp sound. It works really well, as I discussed uh, and the other segment where I can bring my volume knob down and it cleans up really well. So I just like this pedal. There's lots of great pedals out there. I'm just happen to using this one because it's readily available. Pretty much any decent guitar chain's got the OCD. It's just a great pedal. Uh, I highly recommend that one if you're looking for a, a higher quality overdrive. But there's so many great ones out there. So now what I'm doing, <coughs> excuse me, is using the Tube Screamer as a boost function, as we discussed a while ago in the, in the tutorial section. So here, I'm cranking my level up, and I have my overdrive to taste and my tone to taste. So now, it becomes a lead sound. So one thing I really like is to use these things. Um, here's my amp sound. I can use it as like a basic lead tone if I want, and I can kick it over the top with the over with the tube screamer. Oops, sorry, it's on. Now I'm adding the delay and the reverb on. I just have actually just delay on at the moment, just to give some ambient sound. Without it. Sounds pretty cool. You know, reverb or delay, a little bit of reverb in there. Smooth it out. Now the delay definitely smooths it out. Delay is pretty subtle, right? Nothing really crazy. So the idea is to really look at these two and figure out what's going to work best. Now, another way of gain staging, here I'm using this as just a big boost. Another way of gain staging uh, that I know Eric Johnson does a little bit is he'll actually turn up the overdrive and then work the volume accordingly. So you're not getting as big a volume boost. Let's check that out. So without, sorry, without. Now. Okay, see how I'm getting the tubby on that low end? That's where I can really use that tone knob to tighten that up. And also, if it gets really tubby, maybe you're overdriving your, your overdrive too much. So you can maybe dial that in and tone it, uh, tweak it. See, now it's not quite as flubby on that low end. So there's a number of ways of doing it. This has its benefits if you crank up the overdrive and keep the gain, uh, the level, to where it works well with your pedal. This works nicely for not getting a huge volume boost, right? Because so if I'm going to turn this off, you're going to get some, of course, but... Now, if I do it the other way, you're going to get more of an increase in volume. 
So that's something to consider if you're on a gig where you really can't get that loud, and I've encountered this quite a bit. You know, you've got your amp sound, you want to treat it like an old kind of 70s, 80s guitar, or 70s, 60s guitar sound like Hendrix, and then you kick on your overdrive and suddenly you're a lot louder. That's great if you're playing leads, but if you're in a more quiet situation, that can be uh, really pronounced and not so cool. If you're in your house or your apartment, and you can adjust the volume, it's not a big deal, but it becomes very noticeable in a live situation. When you kick that tube screw in as an overdrive, as a boost hitting the front end really hard, it can really, really increase your volume quite a bit. So the way to handle that on more volume sensitive gigs is to do it the other way. Gain stage it where I'm gonna put the overdrive up and the level down, and that's gonna give you less of a volume boost. They both have different tones, they both um, are exceptionally useful, but they are different. So, you know, experiment for what is right for which gig or for you in your house or whatever you're doing. Whichever one you like the sound of better, and that's the one for you. There's no right or wrong way to do it. Um, the traditional way is to use it as a boost, crank that volume up all the way. So if you look at the schematic, it's very simple. Tube Screamer, your overdrive. So it's two overdrives in a row. We call it gain staging. And any kind of ambient effect, effect afterwards just to kind of smooth stuff out a little bit. <laughs> 